Hi everybody, I'm Lauren with Yellow Bobby Pins Art Camp and I wanted to stop by and introduce you to a fun new artist that I've discovered recently. Somehow I've missed him or I haven't done the research to find out much about him. His name is Friedrich Hundewasser and he was born in Austria in 1928. When he was less than a year old, his dad passed away. His mom raised him and as he grew up, he loved drawing, he loved creating. He'd keep a diary as it was called in those days. Today's we call it a sketchbook. As he was making his art, he also fell in love with nature. And oftentimes, as an older artist, he would take his artwork outside and set it in with the trees to see if it matched, call it. When Hundewasser graduated from high school, he spent a few months in the Academy of Fine Arts in Europe, and then he just began to travel and study art on his own. At that time, he started exposing himself to all kinds of art exhibits all over the world, or at least the European world, and taking in as much art as he could. He continued to love the outdoors. He did a lot of hiking and exploring in Europe. As he began producing his own work, he tried to combine his love of nature with his love of art. So enjoy some of these paintings by Friedrich Hunderweiser. And then when we come back in just a moment, I want to introduce you to some of the ideas that I have of ways you can borrow some of his inspiration. So the two pictures here behind me were created borrowing inspiration from Mr. Hinderweiser and hopefully you can see some of the tie-in once you have looked at some of his paintings. I encourage you to get on the internet and look up some more work by him and borrow some more inspiration. The top picture is one I created with oil pastels and I took a moment and I thought about how often Hinderweiser enjoyed making his buildings reflect nature and blend in and be part of nature. And I borrowed a little bit of that because he really disliked a straight line. And so even though my home has some lines that are fairly straight, they weren't drawn with a ruler or anything, so they have that human element with a little bit of wobble to them. I decided to take it a different direction color-wise, and I thought I would like there to be a contrast between warm colors and cool colors so that you notice the house being separate from the background. Warm colors are red, oranges, and yellows. So once I took the oil pastel, the black one, and I sketched in my house and I sketched in the lines in the background to fill up with a pattern and a design, then I came back with my warm color oil pastels, my reds, oranges, and yellows, and I filled it in just like a coloring book. Now oil pastels are gonna make things a little bit dirty, so don't worry too much if you get some little smears and things like that in your picture. It'll still be beautiful when it's finished. The background I took and made with the cool colors. Now cool colors are greens and blues and purples. I didn't have a purple in my oil pastel collection, so I just skipped that one and said, we'll just do blues and greens. If you have an, a purple, go ahead and add that into your collection here. I made one exception and let the sun be yellow. This was my fun design here, borrowing from Frederick Hunderweiser. Why don't you try one of those and see what you can do? The bottom picture was done solely with a Sharpie, and I'll show you how I did this one in a quick time-lapse video here. artwork that you create, borrowing inspiration from Friedrich Hunderweiser, and leave me some comments below. Subscribe. I hope to hear more from you. Again, I'm Lauren with Yellow Bobby Pins Art Camp. Have a great day.